This is update number five. I don't really have a whole lot to report this morning. It's Sunday morning. I heard rumors last night that the strikers are returning home. I don't know if it's true or not. It's just hearsay. I looked in the newspapers this morning. I didn't see any news. The only thing that I have seen that I can tell you about from the Coinca High Life, Lasso, our president here, uh, ends the state of emergency as Konei and the government meet in Quito. That was yesterday. <clears throat> I don't know what time yesterday. I don't see any reports of any new violence or other activities like that. I don't know anything to tell you the truth. I, I do. I, I watch Facebook. I see people that are coming here that are en route, you know, that are not really encountering a lot of uh, issues with roadblocks. There were, were some delays, but that was about it. The food shortage is really, uh, the restaurants are well stocked. Apparently they have their own source of food, uh, not the same as Mega Maxi. Yesterday when I reported about all the shelves being empty at Mega Maxi, I heard from several people here in Monta that told me about the bodegas. A lot of the, the sidewalk tiendas have food, okay? And also the Corral supermarket that's on the other side of Monta, apparently they have a different source for most of their inventory and they're able to stock their shelves. So there's probably not as much of a food shortage here as I was alluding to yesterday. It's probably not anything to worry about. Talking to some of my Ecuadorian friends over the course of the last 24 hours, a lot of people are well, they actually make me feel pretty good about the the possibility that this will end soon, okay? I'm looking at the newspapers on, on an hourly basis here to see if I can, the online papers, to see if I can get updated information in regards to the status of the negotiations between the Konai, Konoe, uh, that is the, let's see, I actually wrote this down, the Konai, Konai, that's the Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of Ecuador. They are, depending on who you listen to, you can get a different story from what's going on with their negotiations with the government. I saw a video last night from another YouTuber who talked about all of this, this strike and everything here being uh, similar to what happened in Iran years ago. and. Just initially listening to this guy's story made me think that he's comparing Ecuador to Iran and that the same thing's going to happen here that happened in Iran. Folks, you can believe what you want to believe. I, I don't necessarily believe what he's saying. If I get any updated news about additional roadblock or any violence or anything that I think is worthy of reporting, I'll do another update. As far as coming to Ecuador, I know that I did see in one of the newspaper articles that the United States is recommending against coming to Ecuador right now. This newspaper here, I'm looking it up here. According to an article in El Comercio, I'll put a link to it in the description. On 622, the U.S., there's an article that says, the United States recommended this Wednesday to its citizens to avoid trips to Ecuador due to riots and crime. They don't really say a whole lot about it other, other than uh, the U.S. Department of State <clears throat> announced that it raised the travel alert for Ecuador to level three, which implies avoiding travel due to serious security risk. Uh, me personally, I think that any security risk would be if you actually get in these roadblocks. <laughs> stay away from the roadblock. I did see another article here, 625, which is yesterday, former leaders and founders of Konoe are now seeking dialogue. So that's progress, okay? It said, the former leaders and founders of the Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of Ecuador, Konoe, this Saturday, June 25th, through a statement showed their position before the mobilization called by their leader, Leonidas Isa. The statement begins by indicating that Social problems cannot be solved with repression, states of exception, or the progressive use of force. So maybe there's going to be some progress here. In my opinion, and you know I don't like to give advice, but my recommendation, if you can avoid or if you can delay your trip to Ecuador, I would wait at least a week. Anything can happen, okay? I'll know more tomorrow than I know today. Unfortunately, I don't really know much more today than I knew yesterday, so 
I haven't heard any really bad news about it, but I guess no news is good news. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you on the next one. Ciao.